Hello all, welcome back. In the previous video, we discussed about how to create the simple list and how to store the address of the next student. Now in this video, I will show you how to create the list and how to display the same. But first of all, you just need to understand the concept of linked list first. So what is linked list? Linked list is a collection of elements called nodes, which has the two parts. The first part is known as an information part in which we can store the data. So in here, in our example, student roll number is an information part. And another is the pointer. It indicates the location of the next node. So here in our example, the location that is the address of the next student we store into the pointer that is pointer next. So the nodes connect by the pointer. Each and every node having the two things. One is the data. Another one is the pointer. One is the data. Another one is the pointer. But if it is the last node, then it contains the null as a next pointer. And you can say that the first node is known as a head. If no next node to the pointer is available, then it contains the null value. What is pointer? It is an address part. So you can say pointer that indicates the location of the next node. What is the data? That is the information part. Here in our example, roll number is the information. So we can say that the linked list is consists of sequence of nodes. For example, you can say that each node contains the value that is A, B, C and D. And you can say and a link to some another node. The last node contains a null link and the list must have a header. So you can say that here A is a header. So let's do the same kind of practical in C. So here you can say that this is my roll number is my information and this is the next pointer of the next student. So I just want to create here one function and that is void create. Now I need to define first head who is the head of every student. So I'm just declaring here one pointer that is a student pointer head. So here I will initialize the head first. So here from main I'm just calling the function that is create and I'm passing the head. So definitely I can access here as a formal parameter. So I'm just declaring here that is student pointer for example edge. Now if the head is null it means that if edge equal equal null then what you want to do? then definitely we need to initialize the head. So I want to get the value from the user. So I'm just declaring here one variable that is integer RNO and here you can write printf enter roll number. Now definitely we need to scan the value. So I'm just scanning the value percentage D and person RNO. Now if head is null, it means that no student is there in my list then I definitely need to create the head. So I'm just writing here that is a head is equal to and here you can cast to student pointer and you can call the function malloc size of student. Now here you can assign the value that is a head dot roll number is equal to roll number and here you can write head dot next is equal to null. Why? Because first time whenever you create the node, so there will be a no next student. So first student will be the head. So if there is a no student, then first student will be head. So I'm just creating the here the data for the first student and the next of the first student will be null. But what if student is already there? If already student is there, then we need to call the else. So if already some students are there in a list, then we need to first reach to the last node and then we need to allocate the memory to the next of last node. So here we can simply write a one loop that is while h dot next not equal to null. It means that until and unless you reach to the last node, just write h is equal to h dot next. So what it will do, it will simply iterate the each and every node and the cursor will be at the last node. Why? Because edge dot next not equal to null, it will simply iterate each and every node. So your cursor will be at the last node. Now you can allocate the memory to the 
next of last node. So you can write here that is h dot next is equal to and you can allocate the memory that is a student pointer malloc size of student. So what happened it will allocate the memory to the next of last node. So definitely I am just creating the list. Now we need to allocate the data. So I am writing here h dot next dot roll number is equal to roll number that user has entered and you can simply write h dot next dot next is equal to null. It means that next of the new node will be null. So this is the way your list will be created. But I want to display each and every data of this list. So how we can do this? Very simple. We can create here one more function and that is void display. And here we can pass the head to this particular function. Now to iterate each and every element what we can do? Simple we can write here while h not equal to null. It means that if h is not null then simply print the value. So I am just printing here that is percentage d and you can write slash n and you can access h dot roll number and then you can simply iterate each and every node. So you can write here h is equal to h dot next. So what happened? It will first retrieve the data of a head, then the next node, then next node, then next node until it reaches to the last. It will return the same. Let me call here this create function five times so you can get the idea. It will get the value five times and then simply this display function will list each and every element. So this is the simple way to create the list and display the node. Let me build and run this particular application and it will ask me to enter the roll number. So here I am just entering the roll number that is 101, 102, 103, 104 and 105. Then I will get the detail over here that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So how this display work? It is very simple. You can say that what I am doing this is my each and every node for example one two three students and my head is one so now what i am doing i am taking one variable that is h and h will point to head first then i am accessing the data of head that is one then my h will move to next so h equal to h dot next and access the data of another node that is two then i am writing h equal to h dot next and I am accessing the data of another head and that is 3. Then I am writing h equal to h dot next and it reaches to the null. So my loop will stop over here. So same thing I did over here in this display function. So that's it from my side. In the next video, I will convert this program into manual driven application. So if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.